everyone, it's Christina. Here's a quick little what's in my shop, which is from a painting that I made. And this has been featured in the Winnie P the Pooh Junk Journals. So I just thought I'd make up a quick little kit for anyone interested, which has got, that's the entire picture of the painting. It's a lot bigger, but I've photocopied it and shrunk it down. So I've also got a page, which is half of it, so you can use that as a junk journal page. And I've got the bottom half of it. Once again, a junk journal page. I've got two smaller tags and some circles. And two larger tags. It's not a very big kit, but it's just uh, something you can play with if you're interested. And just before I do the uh, Winnie the Pooh books, I just wanted to do a quick go through these because these are in the shop, but I don't think I actually ended up doing a what's in my shop for these. So this is the snippet roll with feel, which means uh, sew or something in French. Embroider, so I can't remember now. Did it a while ago. And uh, this has got lots of buttons, lots of... Uh, bit of Tim Holtz material, lace. This was when I was doing the text. Lots of fly stitch. These are the cutest little buttons. So I've got lettering in place of text. Bits of uh, antique old laces. Some butterflies. I might have showed it, but I'm not quite sure. So anyway, I thought I would put it in a what's in my shop as they're, they've gone up live now. So uh, here we are. That's on an old uh, cotton reel. Richard's Limited Crochet Heart Silk, Great Britain. And this one has a clasp so it's got the button so when this comes around it's got the little hole for the button to go through and then we've got the one that's on batting this has got a little wrap around for those gorgeous yellow buttons and it's on batting so it's soft and it's all limes and uh, lemons in the colouring with a bit of a dark green. So there's all these old antique laces, some bullion stitch buttons, cross stitch. Got lots of good textures, another bullion stitch, French knot, a bit of that. Uh, this is a really antique um, table runner. Some more buttons. And that's on an old Knox's machine 40 size thread. So all the dimensions are in the Etsy store for these as well. And now we'll do a run through of the Winnie the Pooh junk journals. Uh, the little golden books, the two junk journals that I was making in the six part series. So these are the Winnie the Pooh ones. Now inside they're both the same really. So I'll flip through one and then you've got a choice between King of the Beasties or the Honey Tree. And just showing you one, it, it's really, um, yeah, they're really the same. Other than the story. So at the start we've got this beautiful bit of, uh, this has actually got a bit of wire in it, so it's a beautiful bit of wired material. We've got this little tuck spot, a little envelope, which has got a little um, tag in. We've got a little poem at the start, so there's a different poem in the other book. Some writing. Got a little card with a snippet and another little card. So there's plenty of writing spot in there. It also has a B. 
this is coloured in, but there are others through the book that aren't coloured in, so you could colour them yourself. Here's the jelly print with a bee stamp. Just a page with the uh, embroidered little beehive and the greenery. This could be coloured in if you want to. It's got um, this lovely stamp which has got sewing on it and a little bit of this antique that's from the 60s, that embroidery anglais. Um, okay, so a bit more writing spot, more writing spot. A bit of my artwork, a little pocket, an envelope with another B tag which gives you another writing spot. bit of glitter, <laughs> bit of fun, honeyed, got a little tag with the writing spot on the back, still lots of room for any other bullet journal things or any writing that you want to do, plenty of writing, this you can still write on this, you could even write around here if you wanted to or just enjoy the poetry, some people even paint over and write over these pages but that's entirely up to you. So there's still writing spots here and a little tag that you could write on or stick something on. Little tag, that's a big tag. <laughs> Another little area, that's a tuck. A bit of my, um, this is from my now that'll be in the Etsy store as a printable if you want any more. So that's the B snippet roll printable. Jelly prints, a couple more tags to write on. Spot. Still plenty of room around the outside and on the back for writing. Another jelly print. It's a little drop down so you've got plenty to write in there and also um, a pocket to put anything secretive in that you might like to. A bit more writing couple more tags to write on on the back and page to write on, jelly print, little area to write on plus the whole page. Of course on these you could do collages, stick photos of your children or friends or family and the back page. So they're both the same really um, and they're going, they're going to go up in the shop with the digital kit that uh, is the digital kit from that middle bit of my art. There you go, hope you enjoy those. Thanks for watching, bye for now.